we always start our day, the first thing we do is we pick a Bible verse. Then they all write it down and they have a Bible verse notebook. The children, today the Bible verse they wrote was Psalm 139 and it says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. God made us fearfully and wonderfully. I just think that's such a beautiful thought when I think about little James and what's happened to him and how God has healed him and just God working all these parts and pieces together for his glory. And I praise God for that. When James being born, we were obviously very excited for his birth. When I gave birth to him, um, there was no issues whatsoever with the birth. It really hit me when we were driving and I was sitting in the back seat. This was just like five hours after giving birth. And I'm looking at my little baby and I'm thinking, half of his face is red. I was very nervous and worried, and I knew that this was a normal. We saw the eye doctor, and she's the one that looked us in the eye, and she said, your son has Sturge Weber syndrome. He had a condition which, where his blood vessels did not form correctly at conception, so there was pressure all the way through his eye and to his brain. Eight months old, exactly, September 1st, he uh, started having seizures. It was an instant seizure where you lose consciousness for a split second, and it causes you to bang your head. Oh, sorry. Seizure medication wasn't helping to the point that he was having about 100 seizures a day. <laughs> the way James was living, that's no way to live. Dr. Hernandez says, we're going to go forward and we're going to do the surgery. A surgery called the hemispherectomy surgery, or they could remove a partial part of the brain to alleviate the seizures from continuing. We were really concerned about how they could go into his brain and cut out that much of the brain and take it out, and that he could still function like a normal person. When I see hundreds, maybe even thousands of people praying for my little boy and seeing the power of prayer, I just believe in it so greatly because I saw it in action. Give five again, give that five again. Good boy, good boy. Oh, he's so strong. Good boy. That thrilled me to see that he remembers. He's still my little boy. James did not have one complication from surgery. This is God's miracle for us. God has a beautiful purpose and plan, and I don't always see it. You know, in the Bible it says, there's plans I have for you, and they're plans of good, not evil, to give you a future and a hope, and I believe that so strongly. If you have a hemispherectomy, the complete part of the brain is removed. Here at CRIT, we offer encompass and embrace the recovery of these children after a hemispherectomy. When we started at CRIT USA, James was about um, 13 months old. James has made, made great leaps forward toward his goals and toward improved mobility thanks to his therapy services here at CRIT. When he was 15 months old, he took his first steps, surrounded by his siblings. Yay! Good job, James! Yay. A very special memory I have, a video of him walking with all of us cheering him on. The remaining brain is, we call it neuroplasticity, meaning that the pathways that part of the brain used to take will be rerouted to the other half of the brain. In the time that I've worked with him, he's definitely grown a whole ton. Superman! He looks like a whole grown up little boy now. He will always have challenges that other people don't have but in those that he could inspire people with his story. Lights, camera, action. Last April, it's been almost a year now, James finally was approved to start karate. He loves karate. He gets on his uniform. He's very excited to go. It's great for him because he's around other kids his age. Help us to have a great rest of the day. Amen. 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 Oh, and thank you for James' <laughs> helpfulness. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But when I see James, it does remind me a lot of the times that we're so blessed and we take it for granted sometimes. We're blessed that we have the ability to, to live and to breathe and to walk and to do things that other people can't. 
I'm James, I'm five, and I'm a really happy boy. When I go to Crit USA, I just know that each of these children, I see these parents and the love they have for their kids. Always in thinking and trying to give them smiles and encouragement, you know, but just don't give up. Do not grow weary in well-doing. That's what it says in the Bible. You're doing something good. Don't grow weary, don't get tired. I feel like my purpose on earth is where has God put me? And then bloom where you're planted. My purpose is investing in these children. And I ask God, every time I go, I say, God, show me what my future purpose is. For me, I think there's more to come. And I'm excited about that.